A record $236 million was dispersed under the Comcare scheme last year, a 56% increase compared to 2019. Majority of it went to low-income individuals who needed short-term help amid the pandemic. But even as the economy recovers, social service agencies say this group of people will continue to need help. Soon Wei Lin with this more. Madam Ah is a divorcee in her 40s with three children. She was a property agent earning no more than $350 a month when the pandemic hit. Unable to pay rent for her two-room flat, she turned to Comcare in March last year and received about $2,700 in aid over three months. It actually reduced my misery uh, on where to source for money for my next monthly bills because at least it helps me to stabilise my condition at that time and it actually gave me confidence in stepping out of my comfort zone to get a new job of my own to support my own family. Madam R is among some 96,000 people Comcare helped last year. This number went up by 22% compared to 2019. The Social and Family Development Ministry says the increase was due to jobs loss and livelihoods being affected amid COVID-19. $183 million in short to medium term aid was also given out last year, mostly to people who were unemployed or not able to work in the short term. Nearly 36,000 people benefited from this assistance, 24% more than in 2019. There were also more of these beneficiaries living in three to five room flats. They may actually have an asset, but that doesn't actually mean that they uh, have adequate savings during such times like this. And uh, many of our families who are in three to five room flats may also have debts that they have been regularly needing to service. Similarly, about 9,400 people with urgent needs received quick financial help via interim assistance last year, a jump of 21% from 2019. And some of these trends may continue even as the economy recovers. There will be certain sectors and population of people who will find it hard to get back into employment. But as a nation, you know, and we know that now is an ex uh, extremely difficult time uh, for for people. And as a country, we are a caring uh, society and um, we would want to, the, the help is readily available and is uh, easily accessible for many. Those who need help can visit the social service offices or family service centres.